In the picture, a narrow fabric of a crochet machine can be seen. The construction consists of a red and white partial weft yarn, which move against each other and through this form the stretched structure. Black weft yarns extend along the complete width and form the basic structure together with the white stitch forming yarns, open pillar stitch with weft insertion. The working machine to produce narrow warp knitted fabrics shows the fabric flow into the container below. In this case you work on two knitting sections. The movement of the guide needles is visible in the upper area by lapping movements of the weft bars above. Yarn breaks can be diagnosed by guards on the warp yarns which stop in case of break the motion of the machine. The stitch formation process is shown in the following. The up and down swinging basic guide needles with the warp yarns overlap the needles in the highest position to form a pillar stitch. The weft yarns move in the lowest position, the underlapping, and form their lapping movement depending on the pattern. The knitting needles move toward the observer to receive the stitch forming yarn. After that they move away with the yarns to form the stitches. Further guide needles in black connect the structure along the complete width.